Our shelters and immigration facilities are, of course, totally overrun. And if Title 42 expires this week, and remember, the Biden administration does not want, they, they want it to expire. They want it gone. The tool, the, the tool out of the toolbox. The flow of illegals will surge to 14,000 every single day, if not more. Here now with more on this crisis, live in La Jolla, Texas, Fox News contributor, Sarah Carter, you've done great reporting throughout. What do you have tonight? Thank you so much, Pete. Well, you know, several hours ago, the Department of Justice actually submitted to the Supreme Court an appeal to basically extend Title 42 for probably just a week or so to give the White House just enough time to figure out what they're going to do with this border chaos, Pete. And I can tell you this, that while they're debating on how to handle the U.S.-Mexico border and the millions that are going to come pouring across, it's the people here in McAllen, Texas, in La Jolla and all along the border that really have to deal with the enormous amount of people and strain on their resources. We were out early today with Texas Department of Public Safety as well as Border Patrol as people were bailing out of vehicles into residential neighborhoods, literally jumping over fences into gated communities. We were running behind their homes. In some cases, I even looked in as people were eating breakfast, uh, as they were searching for runs runners behind the houses. It's, it's extraordinarily frustrating, not only for law enforcement, but obviously for the people in these communities. We also attended today, uh, it was a town hall meeting with both Democrats and Republicans alike, both wondering when the Biden administration, the federal government, was actually going to do its job to protect the border. And I had an opportunity to speak with Congresswoman Monica De La Cruz here. This is her district, and she is extraordinarily frustrated. She says this is a bipartisan effort, that people in her community are angry and they want some change and they want it now. Take a listen to what she had to say. Who's really benefiting from having no regulations or laws at the border? The only one that's benefiting right now is the cartel. They're charging these immigrants ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars to bring them through the southern southern border. They're also benefiting because of the amount of drugs that they're able to pass through our borders. So the only person or persons who are winning are the cartel. Why does it appear that the administration is then supporting the cartels and human traffickers? Have you brought this up to the White House? Have you said, hey wait a minute? I, we might disagree on a few things, but I think we could agree on this. Look we obviously don't agree, agree on a lot of things. One being that I believe we need to put these policies of remain in Mexico in back in place, stop the catch and release program, and Title 42 needs to continue until we have immigration reform and legislation where we can streamline the process and have immigrants wait in Mexico or go to safe countries where they can apply for the asylum process. What would your message be to President Biden right now about how urgent a crisis this is and what he needs to do to stop it? I invite President Biden to come down to South Texas and see for his own eyes what is happening, to talk to these brave men and women in Border Patrol and Customs that are at the front lines seeing this. What is about to happen when Title 42 is lifted will be a catastrophe of epic proportions. Well, it is a catastrophe, Pete. Right across the border in Mexico, there are now just right here, several miles from us, more than 10,000 people that are waiting to make a move across the border under Title 42. Uh, just before we got on the air, there were a number of people that came across the border, mainly children. These were illegal migrants that crossed over. We had one Border Patrol agent trying to process all of them. Right now, just down the road from me, there is a bus here. Uh, it is filled with the migrants. I talked to a girl as young as 10 years old who traveled with her teenage brother all the way from El Salvador to here, and it was a very harrowing journey. I got to tell you, Pete, it's heartbreaking when you talk to the people and when you realize how abused they are on this journey to the United States. And I asked them, why did they take the chance? Why are you coming this way? I mean, you're so young. Weren't you afraid? And she said, yes, but I haven't seen my mother in five years, and I want to find find my family and a lot of times these children are abused and sometimes like you said and you
you reported earlier, they're with abusers, and I, I can't get them to talk about everything. But it is really, it was a really tragic situation here along the border. Wow. Sarah, I can't help but think, you know, wanting to see your family is very admirable. Uh, it's not necessarily a qualification for asylum, uh, which is what which is what makes it illegal. And 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 right. That's where the abuse of the system comes in times, and where the tens of thousands are added. Yes, go ahead. Right. And many times, uh, Pete, many times these children are are trained to say the story the way that they say it. Uh, many times they're with people that have traveled with them, that have prepared them to enter yes. into the country this way. And just like you reported last night, a lot of these children are abused once they enter the United States. And we honestly do not have the resources uh, to handle this. And this is why you're seeing this breakdown in our system and a breakdown here at the border. And by this weekend, the temperatures are going to drop into the low. 20s and they're expecting some very dangerous situations so they're expecting quite a few people to try in the next couple of nights but they're also very concerned here border patrol and law enforcement that some children and other adults may lose their life on their attempt to try to come into the United States cartels and lies and deception and seeing those images you brought us of, uh, of border patrol agents going through beautiful neighborhoods uh, that's what it's come to Sarah thank you so much right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.